Hi everyone, it's Jack here at Main Skill. So thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching the video. Make sure that subscribe button, tell everyone about it, ring the little bell, you know the full works. So today is the day, it's the 3rd of August and it is Farm 24, hashtag Farm 24. So it's Farmers Guardians, big, big day of the year. Uh, everybody gets involved, farmers from all over the country. They've been keeping you updated throughout the day. Videos of what's going on, what they do within their business. Not only farmers, farming related businesses. Um, so it can be suppliers, uh, concrete panels down the road. I see he's been busy with it as well. Austin Richardson, low range, low range quarry, he's been busy. And um, everyone's been putting videos on, so it's Farm 24. So it's just a bit to promote your own business and to promote farming, the farming industry within the UK. So uh, a few of you will have heard about Maine's Gill, um, what we do, you'll have seen me videos before, but just for those that haven't, I thought I'd give them a talk through, tell them a bit about what we do, what our farming business is, and uh, yeah, see what you think. So Maine's Gill Farm, so mum and dad, dare I say it, this might put some of you off straight away, are from Lancashire originally. So we're based in North Yorkshire, uh, just up the road from Richmond, if anyone knows where that is, um, not four miles from Scotch Corner. That's where we are. And um, what we do is mum and dad moved here in 1995 and it was a little 57 acre farm. Main skill, all grass, 57 acre farm. And uh, all they wanted to do is farm. Farming went downhill, the job didn't go well. Um, they had, they were finishing uh, pigs, so they had pigs on. Uh, they had dairy replacement heifers, they were carving them down, selling the heifers, and um, it all went up, upside down, shall we say, at the same time. So uh, there was BSC uh, in the cattle, there was blue ear in the pigs, and everything just went downhill in farming. So what they did was they took three pigs, three, not four, three, to a local butcher's down the road, and they asked him to make them into sausage. He said, no, you want your legs, you want your loins, you want your good joints. They said, we don't know anything about that. We're farmers, we're not butchers. And he said, we said, just make them into sausage. So they made farmhouse sausage, pork and leek, pork and apple, and Cumberland. So that's how it started. And what they did was they went round the local villages. So you got Ravensworth behind Main Skill, East Layton over the road. And they went round, knocking on the doors, saying, would you like to buy some sausage? Me strapped in the baby seat. I was little once, you'll believe it. And um, that's how it started. So that's what happened. So we're 57 acres. 2001, 2002, they built the original farm shop. That was a 60 foot by 30 foot farm shop in the middle of the field. So they started building that, got it up to window height, foot and mouth broke out, but they carried on, pushed through, and um, they got the farm shop up. As the farm shop's grown over the years, it's got bigger over the years, uh, the farm has been able to grow as well. So it went from that 57 acres where main skill was originally, mum and dad, and we are now farming just shy of 1300 acres um, we have got about 800 cattle on at the minute so it's about 800 cattle on the heifers so everything we buy in stores are heifers we only buy store heifers and they all go through the farm shop however we have 100 suckler cows within that 800 so say well 120 so say you get 60 steers a year average we'll say those get fattened and sold through the auction mart, which I've actually been this morning. So I don't know if I'm gonna put that on the end of here or not. That's a video Farm 24 that I did on Facebook this morning. So we sell them through the auction. So that's what we do with that. We have about 400 Texel breeding ewes. Uh, so we have them, all the lambs go through the farm shop once again. So that's what they're for. And then all the arable we grow as well. So we grow wheat, barley, maize, um, beans. We like beans at the minute. Uh, that all gets fed back to the cattle. We grow oilseed rape as well as a break cop, but that just gets sold. Um, we've started growing fodder beet this time. We're gonna see how it does. So uh, I don't know if it's best year to start with it because it's been very dry in the spring. Now it's very wet now, but never mind. So um, we've grown fodder beet and uh, that's gonna go as well. But you'll have to come down to the farm shop, have a look round. Um, yeah, have a good quick look round. There's all sorts there. Well, don't have a quick look round. Come and get a brew, come and get a scone. One of mum's famous scones and uh, come and have a look but that's a little bit of history about main skill um and yeah i don't know what else to tell you i've got a couple of videos there which i've took today i'll add them on the end of here if you want just so you can see so if anyone wants seen them on main skill facebook um so i'll put them on here but yeah that was just a quick look at what we're on 
The weather is messing the job up at minute, so we should be on combining. Uh, that's come to a standstill. I could really do with getting silaging done as well, but that's come to a standstill, and uh, it's just the weather. So we'll see how we get on. We got all the lambs weaned either last week, maybe a week before now. We got all the lambs weaned, so they're all split off. We've been on sorting cattle today, because you can see this shed is rather empty, apart from these couple of cows here. We're fetching some beasts in tomorrow that are out in the field. They should normally be left, left outside for a lot longer yet but it's just coming wet. It's a wet field now by the looks of it. So we're gonna fetch them in because this weather, they're not gonna do out flash outside. So they may as well be inside. So that's it. So that's a bit of history of main skill, where mum and dad have come from, where it started and where we're at now. So thanks for watching. Make sure that subscribe button, tell everyone about it and uh, click back through the videos. You'll be able to see a bit of that, what I've been telling you about main skill, bits of all sorts going on, plenty to see. All right, see you later and good, good. Oh. Oh, that's everywhere this morning. Hi everyone, it's Jack here at Main Skill. We got Claire here as well. Oh, yours is everywhere as well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so today it is hashtag farm 24. So I didn't really realize then until it just pinged up Farmers Guardian have gone live. So I thought, oh yeah, today's the day. So we're just in the cattle shed here and we are just on pulling out some steers. So um, here at Main Skill we have the cattle, um, we only buy in store heifers but we have the suckler cows. So the suckler cows is about 120 cows, so you get 60 steers a year average. Um, we fatten all them and we send them through Darlington Auction Mart which is only down the road, DFAM. And um, they're going there now, so we're just getting pulled out now. Dad should be here any minute with the wagon and uh, we'll get them loaded. But that's what we're on with this morning, so it's hashtag farm24. So if you keep an eye out everywhere, there'll be lots of people putting lots of videos on. Keep you updated with what's going on on the farm. Show the general public what the crack is. And um, yeah, just a bit of more what's going on today. So could be on with anything yet because it put a lot of rain down yesterday. So I don't know what we're doing yet. So we'll see what the crack is. There you go. Good, good. Go on, lad. auction mart so it used to be in the middle of Darlington and they moved here it's probably longer than you think now it'll be a couple of years will it? It will be now. Yeah it will be now so Time goes. it does does so here we go so I'm gonna go up here now and the loading dock is just on this back side here we'll get them dropped off see how they do there we go a few people here as well good good Hi everyone, it's Jack here at Main's Gill. So it's still Farm 24, so it's still the day. And what we're on with now is we are turning the last of the cows and calves out into the field. So these are some late calved ones. So these were the last ones to calve, seven in total. We've left the calves in the shed. We've got five in here. We've only come down to the sheds there, big sheds down to here to tip them and let them run down the bottom of the bank. So there's five cows in here with all the weight against the gates by the looks of it. And um, we're gonna let them go down the hill. So I'll flick you around, show you what's occurring. Here we go. So they're about to go. So this one here is actually, well, that one and that one are first timers. They're the first cars we've had this year. The black one and the red one will be about four, five year five year old they'll be but then this one here she'll be about eight year older she's an older cow now she's getting a bit well not old old but she's getting older a bit <laughs> so go on get yourselves down here <laughs> so i'm walking down this hill now and then we'll fetch the calves in a minute
they'll go down there and they'll find the bull and hopefully he does the job quick because these are late ones and gets them back in sync so we were going to turn them out the other day and it just come horrible chucking it down just as we got them pulled out the shed ready to go on the for loading and it absolutely started chucking it down so we didn't think it was very nice on the calves there they go the cows so we'll get this shut back up now and we'll go and get the calves and another two cows and calves as well and i'll show you something else while i'm here because i don't know if i've shown you all on the facebook look at what i've got here so this here you can see them busy if you zoom in that is my beehive there we go so we're gonna try and get some honey as well see how we do so that's my honey bees there good good and as you can see we're fairly desperate to get on silage when it dries up as well so here we go another cow another heifer there's the calves Here we go. So we've got them other two that you just seen us in the building with. And the calves. They're gonna love it out here. Go on girls. So you see you got a mixture of bloomies, bloomy calves and blue calves. That white one, although it looks like a Charolais, it is just a blue. It's out of a Charolais cow, actually. It's out of that old cow I told you on that first bit. She's a Charolais, but uh, it's by the blue, that calf. It's come out white. There you go, that's them out. Not hanging about, and they're going to enjoy it down there. They're going to go and have a root round. Good, good. 